Hey everyone, it's Chris. So this is that um, shawl I was working on a long time ago that I finished and forgot to show everybody. I honestly don't remember the name of the pattern at the moment, but what I did was every so many rows, I alternated between the different pattern, the different colored yarns. This is linen and cotton. So it's lightweight, but it's, it's still warm, but it's heavy. It's weird, but I do like it. I love the colors. Uh, I forgot to show you all the finished product, but this is it. It's very, very, very long. So let's do this. If I fold it in half, it's still over. It's quite long. But I love that. And then I went um, to Florida last month to take my mother down. And on the way, I worked on this weekender cardigan and this was made out of karen i don't have the ball band up here karen yarn which is part cotton part polyester i believe and so i worked it so the back was worked first and i made sure the striping there matched the striping on the front which was kind of a pain because i had to do like half of a one row here, then I had to cut it and do one row here and I had to keep going back and forth. And um, I did edge it the way she wanted, although I did add one single row of crochet all the way around the edging. And this pattern was by Jeannie of On The Hook Crochet. I believe is, um, is whose that pattern was. Sorry, it's cold. This is um, on the cocoon one I made. I've got it on upside down. I can tell. It's hard to tell. It's giant granny square. Uh, pulled around. But that is what I crocheted recently. And then I'll just flip through some of my watercolor. I just did this Christmas wreath as a practice. So my goal, I'm hoping to paint a handmade card for everybody in the nursing home for next year for Christmas. So if I get a far enough ahead or some kind of um, card. So these are just some of the things, some of them I think I showed you. This one I was playing with the oil pastels, not my favorite. This one, I like this one better, but this arrangement height difference was better. Here, I was just playing, some, doing somebody's tutorial. It was just my thing. These were bees and then some flowers. I just doodled around to take up space on the page. Uh, fall scene. These were just practicing with the trees. And then here, I actually made it into a scene. Here I was practicing with different leaves, the pumpkin, and doodling on top of the watercolor. I'll go back a little. And again, I was just practicing with like jars and I didn't have any in front of me. I was just kind of winging it, so that's kind of what I could do. Here I was just playing with roses and different things. I was trying to do a quick St. Patrick's Day card that failed. This was a fall wreath, which I really liked. And this is by the same person that the other one was. Here, um, two different people. One was doing ghosts, one was doing mushrooms. So I was playing. This is a Let's Make Art Apples tutorial. And since then I did try it with their uh, stuff. This was a Christmas card I was playing with. I don't remember the tutorial. Close me up here. It was a DeWinton paper tutorial. I liked a lot of her um, 
for things. This the fall trees were hers as well. So this was another kind of scene like hers. I did mine a little bit different with the water. I wanted more reflecting. And then this is the apple tutorial using their paint that came with it. I don't like the shapes of my apples as much, but I do kind of like some of the way it blended, but I didn't wait for it to dry enough. And I think I was just rushing it last night because I just wanted to paint because I hadn't painted in a few days. And then we're back to the wreath. And then I believe you've all seen my campfire in the woods where the trees are lit up. They're not on fire, as my uncle says, but I really liked this. This was my first one using professional watercolor paint and um, professional paper. And I do think it comes out better than when you do it on um, yucky paper. This is just Canson, I think. Yeah mixed media so it's not a high quality um paper it's very smooth and it doesn't hold water it's not a cotton blend or anything like that so that is what i've been up to i finished that red one a while ago and i just did that weekender i believe that's what she calls it the weekend uh weekender cardigan it was was pretty easy the bat took the most time I would probably do it again. This one I'll probably keep for spring and summer because of the colors. But I probably would do it again in maybe something like the Red Heart Super Saver or something like this stuff is. I don't like doing a lot in this this yarn because it does pill. I can see the pills on it. But if it's for around the house, I don't care so much. But some of these things, I've spent that much time on them. I want to wear them out and I don't want them to pill and get yucky looking. But the cardigan did go pretty quickly. Uh, granted, a lot of it was done while I was traveling in the airports and waiting. So it was just killing time anyways. Oh, here's another little tree I did. Some of them I uh, sent off. This is my March card for the nursing home. And then I think just fluttering by to say hello to say hi I'm waiting on the list they didn't give them to me in time I just had to drive out there to take my mom's car out last night night before and I wanted to drop them off then but it was probably a good thing she didn't send me the list I wouldn't have dropped them off anyways because on the way out there my husband was following me in my mom's car and my husband's car lost its brakes. And I was kind of fruiting out. I'm like, something's going on with this car. And I was like, hurry up cars, go. Cause I was at a stop sign and the car just kept jerking. And I was afraid I was gonna hit the guy in front of me. And so I said, okay, well, well once he goes, I'm gonna go and we're gonna see how it goes. And we'll see how far I can get. It was getting dark, it was dusk. And she lives out in the country and I don't like driving in the dark to begin with, especially not out there with all the deer and the hunters. So I kept going and then I got to my mother's house and I was supposed to go and down to my grandparents' house to get something out for my mom. And I told my husband, I go, something's wrong with your car. I, I don't know what's going on, but your brakes were weird. The car was jerking and he proceeded to tell me I did not know how to brake. 40 some years of driving and I did not know how to brake. That did not go over very well, needless to say, but I let it go and then when we came time to go, he got in the car and started backing down the driveway and he goes, man, my foot's going all the way to the floor. I said, yeah, I told you something was wrong with them. And sure enough, there was brake fluid everywhere. It blew a brake line, so, um, after that, there was no stopping. I didn't run down to my grandmother's to get the thing my mom wanted. We didn't stop anywhere. We just drove home on a wing on a prayer, 45 minutes in the dark. And he hand braked it with the emergency brake most of the way home. I mean, the brakes did work some, but if you had to stop at a light and stay stopped, you wouldn't stay stopped. You would keep going. So it was a, it was a rough drive. It's kind of scary but we're back so um i didn't get those sent out there so now i'm waiting for them to get back to me and i think i'm going to sit here now 
and go back to painting and I have to pick my husband up from work in oh four hours I still think I'm gonna paint for another hour or two then I'll go downstairs and relax and before I have to go get him but I just wanted to pop in say hello and happy veterans today to all of our veterans and all your family that were veterans I thank you my great-grandfather and uh, grandfather and my uncles were all in the service and I have a cousin who served and is still serving he's working his way out so I thank everybody for their service and for our rights our freedom which I think uh, I get I better not go there we'll, we'll skip that part but all right love you guys thanks for watching bye